today I'll be doing a quick review on the next addition to the limited tool series. Now I decided to split the video up so this video will be focused mainly on how to use the table saw and get the most out of it. The next video will be how to make it. Now some of you guys may want to take this task on and I want to encourage you to definitely put your touch to this and make it to your liking, put a finish, whatever finish that makes you feel happy about your saw. So I'm going to give you a quick 360 of this saw so that you can get a visual on what you'll be dealing with in this project. Now the idea behind this is for it to be a multi-purpose workstation. I know a lot of people is limited on space and I think this would be a good solution for you. Now there will be add-ons in the future but currently right now the insert all supports the table saw, your router, your jigsaw and also a downdraft. Now near the back you have this extension cord that plugs in the wall and then you also have your dust collection port. Now down in the dust collection area I do have an outlet where you can plug your device in. And as we make our way to the front you have a light switch here that turn on and off the outlet. And at the very middle bottom there is a big opening so you can house all your insert. On both sides of the workstation you have two openings for storage and hand tools. Now the power cord is held together using a velcro strap and when it's time for action you just plug it in your nearest outlet and you're ready to go. And just below the opening you have the outlet, you plug that in, turn your device on and you insert the device. Now each insert takes four of these quarter inch screws and for this demonstration purpose I'm going to bypass that step. So now I'm going to do a few pass through on the trim router and I like what I see so far and I think this is going to work out extremely well. Now while the vacuum was on I noticed that it put such a strong suction on, on the insert I had to turn off the vacuum so that I can remove it. Now what's nice about the design, each power tool have its own insert. Now be sure that the workstation is unplugged from the wall and you're operating with a saw that's not plugged in. Now to keep the trigger pressed on a circular saw I wanted to use this hose clamp but the one I have is not large enough so I have to pick one up that is large enough but temporarily I'm going to use zip ties. The table saw fence will be a separate video of its own. For this demonstration I'm going to use a piece of wood that has a straight edge on it. And I'm going to measure from both the front and the back side of the saw blade and make sure I have the proper spacing. Clamp that piece down and I'll be using this as my temporary fence. It's also a good idea to check that the saw blade is square to the top of the work surface. And now to make some test cuts on the saw and um, so far it's working out very well. Since this is the first go around on the table saw the blade does not tilt. And this is an easy fix all you have to do is just make a wider opening so that you can tilt the blade. Now to keep the jigsaw trigger pressed I also would be using a hose clamp but since I don't have one large enough at the moment a zip tie will work just fine. Now being that this is a jigsaw you can put multiple blades inside this jigsaw and cut multiple materials. In this case I'm only going to use a few pieces of scrap wood to make some demonstrational cuts. Now as time go on there will be multiple improvement made to this workstation. Um, there were so many ideas I have and I did not want to keep putting more ideas into this because I probably never finished the project. Now as you can see you can make multiple cuts with the jigsaw on the upright station so if you don't have a bandsaw or a space or a budget for one then this could be a great solution for you as well. And next up we have the downdraft insert and you can see how strong the suction is. Now if you're unfamiliar with a downdraft table it is one of the best ways to control the dust while sanding and how it works is I have my vacuum plugged up to the bottom and that's continually pulling the air down which will help prevent some of the sawdust from getting in the air. And when you're not sanding just leave the downdraft insert in and you can use this workspace as your workbench. So something to keep in mind this workstation has multiple purpose and I will be adding more and more pieces onto this as time go on. I will be adding a bottom to this. I will be adding all sorts of stuff you know a sled whatever you can think of that can 
helped improve this workstation i will be adding more on to it now i just need a little bit of time to finish the video edit on the build and i also want to get you guys plans for this so that it's an easier process to follow so if you're not already i appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel hopefully you guys like this video let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments let me know if you have any cool name i like to give this saw a name so if you have some cool names let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments so hopefully you guys enjoy this build i'm going to cut this one off here and i will catch you guys on the next project and until next time guys thanks for watching